This lesson is going to give you a short exercise to work on your quintuplet subdivisions. Before we get started, though, I want to know how long does it take you to go through a pair of sticks? I sat there wondering the other day, and I'm like, I know how long it takes me to go through a pair of sticks, but how long does it take the average drummer? So I just thought I'd take a poll. How long does it take you to go through a pair of sticks to where you just can't use them anymore? Put that in the comments section below. Now, uh, quintuplets have kind of been a hot topic lately for some reason, um, and they're nothing more but another subdivision that we can use in our arsenal. So we have triplets which is three notes per beat, sixteenth notes, which is four notes per beat, and then with sextuplets, we all know that one, right? It's six notes per beat, thirty-second notes, eighth notes, uh, uh, eight notes per beat. Eighth notes are going to be two notes per beat, quarter notes, one note per beat. But there's two subdivisions that are often left down, and that is quintuplets and septuplets. Now, septuplets often get so fast, they're right up there with thirty-second notes. It's like, well, there's not much of a difference. But quintuplets are a subdivision we can use, and they're in between sixteenth notes and sextuplets, and it's going to get five five notes per quarter note or per beat. So in a bar of 4-4 four, four time, we're going to have 20 notes. Now that It lays a little bit differently because we're not accustomed to hearing quintuplets in popular music. I will say this though, because some of you are like, oh, I don't need to work on this, I'll never use quintuplets. Maybe not but maybe so. What I will tell you is our job as drummers is time. We need to have solid time and part of having solid time is working on all of the subdivisions and all the space in between two specific beats and working on quintuplets is going to help you do that. Now I find that to, to learn a new subdivision it often helps if I have a sticking that um, will augment that subdivision. In other words will lie evenly over that subdivision. So I'm going to use this sticking. It's a modified paradiddle. So it's going to go right, left, right, right, left. That's going to be my main sticking in the first measure. So for the quintuplets I'm going to play just five notes every quarter note. We're going to accent. It's going to go right, left, right, right, left. Two, left, right, right, left. Three, left, right, right, left. Four, left, right, right, left. You want to make sure that they're smooth and that they're even across the measure. So that we're distributing them evenly across the measure. Now, where the first measure of the exercise is going to be that. Once we get that, then we're going to go to the second measure. In the second measure, I'm going to take another sticking that is that most of us are familiar with. And that's going to be the paradiddle, but that's a four-note sticking. So we're putting a four-note sticking over a five-note subdivision. That's going to create this four over five feel or five over four, depending on how you look at it and where it's broken up. Uh, so we're going to use that and we're going to play five paradiddles, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to wind up on the left hand for the third measure. So the first measure is that five note sticking. The second measure, we're going to play five paradiddles. This exercise is only going to be four measures long. Measure three is going to be a repeat of measure one, except now we're going to be starting it on the left hand. So measure one and three look the same, except we're starting them on different hands. Measure two and measure four look the same, except we're starting them on different hands. So on measure two, we're going to start the pattern, the paradiddles on the right hand. On measure four, we're starting them on the left hand, and we'll wind back up on the right hand so that we can loop the exercise. Let me play the whole thing slowly for you.
Once you get comfortable playing it on the snare drum, then I want you to do one thing for me. Put each accent on the toms. So every right hand accent is going to go on the floor tom, every left hand accent is going to go on the high tom. As well, be sure and put your hi-hat with it. Why do we put our hi-hat there? Well, it helps solidify the time and it helps kind of give the whole thing a cohesion. So it lets everybody know where the quarter note is, including you. Hopefully this short exercise will help you work on your quintuplets. If you got something out of the lesson, click that thumbs up button as well. Share it with another drummer that you think it may help out. Be sure and jump on the email list. I give sheet music to every YouTube lesson that I do. As well, you get my free program, 30 Days to Better Doubles. The link is below this. But no matter what you do, I'll see you here in the next video.